In this eye-opening video, Tucker Carlson delves into the controversial topic of immigration and its profound ramifications for American politics. With his signature blend of incisive analysis and unapologetic commentary, Carlson challenges viewers to confront the hidden agendas driving immigration policies. Join Tucker Carlson as he peels back the layers of deception surrounding immigration and exposes the true motivations driving this contentious issue. Unlike so many issues we face right now, this one will, we know for certain, change the country forever. I mean, the stakes couldn't be higher. The question of who lives here is the central question. It's a democracy. So when you change the population, you change the outcome of the vote, which means you you, you change the way the country is run. And that's, of course, the whole point of this. It, you know, this country has gained 100 million people in the last 30 years. Most Americans aren't even aware of that. So we've had massive demographic change, not enough for the people in charge. And so this is this is an effort basically to pack the electorate. I mean, let's say, you, so if you open the borders and then sponsor legislation giving citizenship and voting rights to the people you've just admitted illegally, what are you doing? You're trying to, to change election outcomes. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, what they are doing. Well, I think it helps the Democratic Party long term. Again, the Democratic Party is extremely frustrated by the idea that there are Americans who don't vote for them, who reject their program. So if you change the nature of the people who live here, then you win forever. So they really do think in longer terms, I think. I mean, we're only two and a half months into the administration at this point. So, I mean, they're thinking 10 years ahead uh, which is the way they think. I mean, they, they think in a in a much broader way than your average Republican politician, I would say. The question is, what is happening to all these people? Where are they going? Know. We know that a lot of them aren't staying at the border. They're being flown into the interior of the country. There's evidence, and I, I think we're going to have the story tonight at 8, that some of these kids are being placed in foster families in states very far from the U.S. border. If that's true, it's an amazing story. Now, part of the problem is, the media aren't covering this partly because they got Biden elected and they don't, you know, they don't want to hurt his administration so soon into it, partly because there's been a news blackout on what's happening at the border. But you have to ask, this is a huge number of people, an unprecedented number of people. Where are they exactly? Yeah. They're not all in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico and California. I mean, there are like 600,000 Americans sleeping on the street every night. They're homeless. No one seems to care. No one seems even to notice they're there unless you happen to live in a big city and your park's been taken over by a tent city. And yet we're paying for hotel rooms for foreign nationals who broke our laws to get here. Look, it's no attack on people who rode a train from Belize to get here at all. But it's if you're running the U.S. government, you got to care about U.S. citizens first and foremost. That's your job. But they don't. You wonder how much longer they imagine Americans are going to go along with this. An entire country forced to lie about everything all the time. It can't go on forever, but you can see why they're trying it. Demographic change is the key to the Democratic Party's political ambitions. Let's say that again for emphasis because it is the secret to the entire immigration debate. Demographic change is the key to the Democratic Party's political ambitions. In order to win and maintain power, Democrats plan to change the population of the country. They're no longer trying to win you over with their program. They're obviously not trying to improve your life. They don't even really care about your vote anymore. Their goal is to make you irrelevant. That is provably true. And because it's true, it drives them absolutely crazy when you say it out loud. A hurt dog barks. They scream about how noting the obvious is immoral. You're a racist if you dare to repeat things that they themselves proudly say. Most people go along with this absurd standard. They dutifully shut up. They don't think they have a choice. But no matter what they're allowed to say in public, everyone understands the truth. When you change who votes, you change who wins. That fact has nothing inherently to do with race or nationality. It's the nature of democracy. It is always true. You can watch it happen. You probably have. All across the country, we have seen huge changes in election outcomes caused by demographic change. New people move in and they vote differently. As a practical matter, it doesn't matter what they look like or where they're from even. All that matters is, is that they have different political views. This is every bit as true when the migrants come from Brookline as when they come from Oaxaca. In Vermont, white liberals fleeing the mess they made in New York turned the state blue. As recently as 1992, Vermont was reliably Republican, hard to believe as that is. Vermont is now a parody of lifestyle liberalism. That's demographic change at work. 
You see the same thing happening in the state of New Hampshire as refugees from Massachusetts flood north and bring their bad habits with them. Montana, Idaho, Nevada all face similar problems. The affluent liberals who wrecked California aren't sticking around to see how that ends. They're running to the pallid hideaways of Boise and Bozeman, distorting local culture and real estate markets as they do it. Pretty soon, people who were born in the Mountain West won't be able to live there. They'll be, yes, replaced by private equity barons, yoga instructors, and senior vice presidents from Google. Beautiful places are always in danger of being overrun by the worst people. Ask anyone who grew up in Aspen. But in most of this country, it is immigration from other nations more than anything else that has driven political transformation. And this is different from what we've seen in Vermont. Americans have every right to move to new states if they want, even if they have silly political opinions. But our leaders have no right to encourage foreigners to move to this country in order to change election results. Doing that is an attack on our democracy. Yet for decades, our leaders have done just that, and they keep doing it, and they keep doing it because it works. Consider Virginia. The counties across the river from Washington, D.C. now contain one of the largest immigrant communities in the United States. Most of these immigrants are hardworking and decent people. Many have been very successful in business. Good for them. But they also have very different politics from the people who used to live there. 